Hi, I'm Stefania Chaplin, and as part of the DevSecOps Delivered series, I'm going to talk about the IntelliJ integration and vulnerability search. Here I am in IntelliJ, and you can see along the bottom of the window the Nexus IQ integration. On the left side, we have a software bill of materials, which can be sorted alphabetically or also by policy violation. If I look into Commons Collection as an example, I get enriched metadata about the components. Looking on the right, I can see for version 321, the GAV, so coordinates, information around licensing, and also a CVSS, Common Vulnerability Scoring System of 9. I also have a policy threat of 9, which is set by my company. Catalogued means that 321 is 11 years old. Match state is to do with the cryptographic hash. If, for whatever reason, developers have edited the hash, then the match state will no longer be exact. It will either be similar or unknown. Identification source can either be sonotype or manual for when you claim your proprietary components. And category is a taxonomy. So in this example, programming language utilities, but you can also have logging frameworks, XML parsers, etc. So I want to understand a little bit more about this component. I can go view details, policy violations, security high, high risk CVSS score of a 9.0. So I'm not sure if you're familiar with Heartbleed from a few years ago. That was only a 5, so a 9 is going to be even worse. License analysis, liberal, great, it's an Apache. But then, security issues, arbitrary remote code execution. Now you're speaking a language that I, the developer, understand. So what if I want to find out more about this vulnerability? I can copy the error code and go to my IQ server. And now, with the latest release, I do not need to log in to look up a vulnerability. If I click on the vulnerability lookup and paste the vulnerability ID, I can find more information about the component. The Commons Collection package is vulnerable to remote code execution due to the behavior of the Invoke Transformer class. You can get runtime access. If I want to have more full information, I can also log in for remediation guidelines as well. So how do I fix the vulnerability? Going back to my component view, here on the left I have Sonotype recommended version. So it's the next version with no policy violation. If I look in this version graph where I have the vertical is the version and then policy threat security license quality or other, I can see I'm on 321. The next available one is 321 Red Hat 2. When I click on this link, it automatically goes to this version. However, I can see this one is very popular and it's also 322. So I want to stick with the canonical naming version. If I click here, I can see 322 as a bonus, it's only three years old. Also, there's no CVSS or policy threat. And if I go view details, it confirms this. Policy violations, none. My company does not have an issue. Security issues, none. There are no known vulnerabilities. So great. How do I migrate to this version? I click migrate to select it. You see here, it's updated from 321 to 322. And now within the IDE, we have fixed a critical vulnerability in a matter of minutes.